Shirley, I understand that um, this, the international standard has quite a close relationship with um, ITIL. Um, yes. So would you perhaps like to explain that? Yes, yeah, so ITIL really is a best practice for service management. So it's used by um, 150 countries worldwide um, where people are taking qualifications in ITIL, so that's fairly easy to track and understand. Uh, and that's quite a big community. So ITIL actually provides both best practice for people to understand how they apply uh, service management, how you implement something like an incident management process, a change management process. What should you actually do? What is best practice? To achieve then the requirements in ISO 20000. And I think that's, that's really important that they've actually got that guidance that they need. Um, and people are trained in ITIL as well. So it's a professional qualification. It becomes a, a whole service management professional body of knowledge uh, that people use to actually achieve 20,000. Um, and I think that's the success of both ITIL and 20,000, that the two work together. So organisations will use ITIL to change their organisation to what we call a service-oriented organisation, and rather than being technology-focused. And then they can actually demonstrate that, and prove that they've achieved a best practice level, that they've achieved a culture of continual service improvement by actually being certified against 20,000 or even just being assessed against 20,000. So the two together work really well hand in hand. And what would you say to um, perhaps an organisation that's currently using ITIL but perhaps hasn't looked at ISO 20,000? I, I think it's becoming increasingly important, particularly for some organisations that are going global. As Jenny said, that the international language now, it's all done for you, the language. Um, so adoption worldwide is a really important aspect. And obviously with 20,000, the UN have access to all the international certification and audit uh, bodies. So there's a mechanism all there to actually do audits. And in terms of reducing risk, organisations do struggle with the complexity of delivering uh, services across the globe. Um, and I think increasingly are interested in it because of that. And that whole, whole infrastructure is there to do all of that. Um, so I think it is becoming increasingly important. Also very important, I think, for technology-based companies like web-based uh, service companies. They're just starting up now, probably very similar to what we saw in the 90s. They're growing, and when those companies grow, they need to actually adopt um, best practice and prove that they have it. Um, so I think you know it's increasingly important in an international okay. arena. Okay, excellent.